Hello and welcome to this video. Each of the nine boxes in a three by three square is filled with either negative one, zero, or one. Prove that of the eight possible sums along the rows, the columns, and the diagonals, two sums must be equal. So I'm going to start off by drawing my three by three grid. Now let me see if I can focus in there. And so all these little squares over here are either going to have a 0, a negative 1, or a 1. Okay? And now, to prove that uh, at least two of the sums must be equal, um, whether it's the rows, columns, or diagonals, you might be thinking to just do like some sort of guess and check thing. I'm going to give you a much simpler answer. I'm going to say that the only possible sums, I'm going to count the only possible sums. So we could have, result we have the numbers negative 1, 0, and 1. So we could have, in the diagonal, we could have all 3 be minus 1, and we get a total of minus 3 there. Or we could have there be 2 minus, negative 1s and 1, 0, which would give us a total of minus 2. Or we could have one negative zero and one, two uh, zeros, which would give us a minus one. Or we could have three zeros, which would give us a zero. Or we could have one one, two one, three ones, and any sort of combination, like um, a one, a minus one, and a minus one. But that would all be covered within these, within this range. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different possible values that any row, column, or diagonal can add up to. Now, there are eight possible sums that there are. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the two diagonals, which means that if um, even in the worst case scenario when you have uh, among seven of the eight, each one has a different number, you still have an eight um, row, column, or diagonal, it'll have to repeat with another. So no matter what, two of the sums must be equal. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.